Thank you for saying hi. And this is Nurenda, our helper as well. So they're busy, you know, helping out the farm. We need to water, working together. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. To my returning subscribers, I'm gonna say thank you. That's my little one there saying hi to all of you. To my returning subscribers, I'm gonna say thank you for always coming back to watch the videos on my channel. Right now, I'm just taking you out uh, outside the farm. The pomegranates, these roots are so big. Yeah, so today <coughs> I'm gonna show you. Uh, I have a video of this place. This place was a bush. I'm going to talk about it again. So let's go. Let's go from this side. Let's walk. <coughs> yeah, let's walk from this side. This is the ring road. This is the ring road and this is the farm so I have a video of this place when we were cleaning this place it was a bush an orchard in a bush it was a bush so we cleared this place we cleared this place though there's some bad grass already that's growing it needs to be redone, has to be cleared again. There's so much bad weeds. So I'm planning to clean it again. Yeah, this place was really, really a bush. If, if you want to watch the video and see what I'm talking about, you can go. I'm gonna link the, uh, the previous video that I did about, about this place so that you can watch the video. So and the trees, you can see the trees have been pruned. They've also done some stamping. Some trees have been stamped out because they were just not in place. They're in the wrong direction. <coughs> So, taking a walk with you guys just to show you the progress that has happened in this place. These are the remaining blocks out of the 3,500 blocks that we used to build this building. That is here. I just want to reach closer to the building and show you guys because I didn't even show you where it started. I just showed you when we were clearing out the place. And this is the remaining stones, the quarry stones that we got from that place called Zama Stone. We all got videos for where we got these uh, stones. And this is some of the sand that is remaining. We got it from Zamastan. We got a video of that place. These are the remaining sand bricks. Uh, well, these bricks were just made here at the farm by the helpers. But they were not, uh, they didn't come out as expected. Yeah, they didn't come out fine. So. Some have been breaking by themselves. They didn't come out strong enough. But they're useful to other things. So that's why we've kept them out here. And there's some people who got them who would use it for what they want to use. Taking you to this building now. There's a difference here. Yeah? There's a big difference. 
from the way it was because i remember starting somewhere here that's when i just i just started in the middle of the bush cleaning cleaning and taking out the bad grass so that's a building that has been built so this is gonna be a bathroom a shower and there's gonna be a toilet in here yeah it's not mistaken yeah there's gonna be a toilet in here It's a building that has been built here because the last time that I was cleaning, I showed you in the video that I'm gonna link to this video. So if you wanna watch it, you're gonna watch it. Um, it was just uh, a clear place with nothing in it. It was just bare land with nothing in it. But now we've managed to construct something. If you wanna see more about this progressive progressing land if you want to see more of the place progressing you just keep on watching more of the videos at the farm I'm gonna show you how we keep on progressing the farm So some trees were cut down i know it's not a good thing of cutting down the trees but there's a reason why these trees had to be cut down from the boundary of the farm because they were cut down from that side because they were distracting the light of the of this boundary building that is here it's a complex a mini complex so it was disrupting the building so we had to cut down the trees from our from our boundary just not to distract other people not to make people uncomfortable so we had to do it we had to cut down the trees we put so many trees um, wild trees we have a beautiful shade So this place is still under construction. Yeah, a lot has to be done. Some things have to be cleared. This is a how do they call it? What what's the name of this? I don't know if it's a septic tank. I don't know. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Before people tell me that I don't know much, but that's that's I think that's what it's called. So this uh, place, this uh, it's still under construction. A lot still needs to be done. But does it still gonna be done? I'll still show you the bits at this moment. This is how it looks like. The only thing I love about this place, another thing I love about this place is how these stones were just piled themselves like this. Nobody put them to be in this shape, but they just, you know, just found them on the farm just like this. Where you can just sit under the guava tree, where you can just sit and relax and have a beautiful shade. Yeah, big rocks.
And there's another one here. It's very big. It's very big. You can just sit and enjoy the cool breeze. It's very nice. So now I'm gonna head for the field. I'm just gonna show you the field again. We had some people come and uh, get some fresh maize from the field. There's still fresh maize from the field. And the remaining maize, um, we're just gonna store it, keep it for food, food storage. I'm gonna store the food. This is the field I was talking about, guys. Still got fresh, fresh maize. <coughs> yeah, it looks dry like this, but some of the maize are still fresh. Um, in between the the, the the males field yeah but the sun so not already look dry like this one see this looks so dry this looks so dry yeah. they look so dry but Soon we have to start storing the maize. We have to remove it from from the field and put it to dry completely, so that we can just have our own mini meal. Yeah, even those people that want uh, dry maize, so that they can buy. We thank God that we even have. Um, this amount of maize because some places are completely uh, dry with uh, without maize. They only have maize, but they don't have the cobs. They only have maize stalks. This one looks green. This one looks green. There's some maize that is fresh, and part of it is drying. So. Part of the maze is gonna be taken down anytime soon. We we'll have to remove the the dry maze and and uh, what we do when we remove the maze from this from the maze stalks, what we do is we leave the maze stalks for the field, and when uh, it's time to start a field, uh, yeah, when it's time to you know plant the maze again, we just um, 
plow. We just plow the whole field with, together with the main stalks that's gonna make a manure. We don't burn. You just let them dry. When these main stalks dry, then we just plow them together with the soil. Mix, mix them together with the soil. That makes manure for a good mess field. So, as you can see guys, on that side, it's a mess field. You can see how long I've walked from that far end to this far end. Because I've walked from that far end. Yeah, I've walked with you from that side. And now I'm taking you to this side. So, at least I've taken a walk with you guys. Showing you how big <coughs> the mess field is. And how big the farm is, guys, it's big because this field is a nine nine hectares of field, nine hectares of maize planted. All that is a field of maize. This is the only place that looks a bit clear for me to reach. So I'm gonna stop from here. Oh, this is maize. So I'm gonna go back now. Let's go, Baba. Let's go back. There's so much that is gonna be done. It's not only focusing for, on the maize. No, it's just that this season was a maize season, which means the next season we're getting in is not all about maize, but it will be something like about vegetables different types of vegetables there might be rap lettuce carrots onions eggplants garden eggs yeah different kind of vegetables and plants yeah we, we just uh, follow the season we just depends on the kind of season that you're in then we plant something for that season that's what happens. Like last time, last year, I showed you when we had that garden, the little garden that we had at home. By that time we had carrots, we had eggplants, we had, um, oh, what else did we have? We had garden egg, we also had, um, what other vegetables did we have? We also had some green papers on the side and onion uh, yeah which people really like to order and buy because vegetables are bought on a daily basis yeah are bought on a daily basis so vegetables are very important to have at the farm So, what you see here, uh, along the farm, there are some plants that have been planted. This is one of the plants that have been planted. Yeah, from there there's a line of, if you can see, there's this line of uh, mango. The mango is there. Then there's this builder, he's building something that I'm yet to show you so this is a line of the plants that have been transplanted because some trees have been stamped out so we are we are planting other uh, fruits because some fruits have been stamped out because some trees just look old become old there's also a mango tree so they're being watered now. This is the time that they always water the plants, water the fruits. So guys, I forgot to say this is a what? Um, 
an avocado tree an avocado tree then there there's a purple you can see this is a purple a lot of plants that have been planted again replanted I should say so so they're being watered now they're being watered now this is a mango mango tree there's a mango here again this is a mango tree and here this is an avocado tree this they just been watered they're watering them this is our farm manager hi thank you for saying hi and this is the Nurenda, our helper as well so they're busy you know helping out the farm we need to water working together that's the goal at our farm and this is another mango tree so all these things are these mangoes we're gonna let them grow because these are the future trees than those other trees that have been stamped out guys all i'm gonna say for now is bye bye until next time i'm sure i've shown you something something at the farm yeah i hope i'm motivating some people who have farms how to uh if, if the farms have gone down how to rebuild their farms i hope they're learning something one or two things on seeing how we do things here yeah so Oh, and uh, I think this woman here is she. She came for chicken, and there's some chickens that I've not shown you yet, guys. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you the villa chickens. I'm also gonna show you the broilers that we've been keeping. So all I'm gonna say from now is don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. For now, for me, it's bye bye. Till next time.